I don't want to say I'm nervous, but it definitely looks as though some unlicensed medicine is about to be practiced. Well, guess what's happening? What is happening? Unlicensed medicine. <laughs> the modern road experience is the Gansfeld effect. We are going to hack our brains. Do you want a trip? <laughs> Let's define some terminology here. What, what are we getting at? This is the Gansfeld effect. Okay. This is something that was discovered in the 1930s, and it is a way that your brain finds patterns out of unstructured stimuli. So in other words, you produce hallucinations. Exactly. It is a lot like the experience that you get in sensory deprivation tanks, where you start to hallucinate auditory and visually. Your brain wants to find patterns in things, and so when you have an unstructured stimuli, like a uniform field of light, or white noise in your ears, or both, you will start to hallucinate, and your brain will start to convince itself that it's actually seeing these Now, things. I know that the scientist Richard Feynman was really into the idea of altering his consciousness without drugs, so he would do sensory deprivation tanks, and specifically, he had read that there was a certain tribe of people we perceive ourselves as living behind our eyes, but this other tribe believed that the selves lived in the liver, and so he would get into the tank and try to shift his his sense of being to a different part of his body with limited success and in fact I experienced this I did a live cast with the incredible artist Rallis Khan he did a complete live cast you cannot talk you cannot move or it'll screw everything up and over this time I got the strong sense that I was tilted over the entire time. I was seeing patterns. It was it was completely unreal. What kind of patterns were you seeing? Geometric stuff. Th there was kind of a waking hallucination with almost a narrative. You ever have it where you kind of wake up out of sleep and you want to finish your dream and you're not really sure if you're making up the dream or actually falling back asleep? It was like that without ever having been asleep to begin with. But you were totally safe. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's my biggest concern, which is my biggest concern anytime I go to sleep. Freddy Krueger. <laughs> That's good like, point. like good bears, point. Good point. bears, Freddy Krueger, well, like got, right we've, there. We've got awake people supervising us, so I think yeah. we're going to be good. Thank God. If you want to produce Gansfeld hallucinations, you can't just close your eyes or turn off the lights and have it be quiet. You have to have uniform stimulation, right? Whether it's white noise in the ears or, or whether it's white light, red light, you have to be looking at something so that your brain is shifting, looking for patterns yes. in there. You have to give your brain some sort of input. This is giving your brain something that is completely unstructured. Some people have experienced things like picnics, women riding by on bicycles, geometric shapes, Tetris, explosions, aliens, dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Mass hysteria. That's awesome. I know that miners who have been trapped in cave-ins, they're going four or five days without any stimulation at all, similar to the deprivation tank. Prisoner's cinema is what they called it. Pythagoras' disciples would go into caves uh, to achieve enlightenment, and they would just stare into the darkness for hours on end. And also, people going through the Arctic in whiteout conditions and just seeing this field of unending white would start to hallucinate. Well, now I'm terrified, and now I guess it's time for us to get started. I know that you can create the uniform field by cutting a ping pong ball in half, but you were mentioning that maybe that's not the best way to go? Yes, I tried it with the ping pong balls, and they don't always fit over your eyes, and so you can see out the edges. One of the ways that I read was actually better is to make your own sleep mask out of just plain printer paper. Just plain printer yeah. paper. And you want to get the lightweight printer paper that you can kind of see so through. See through, yeah. Don't get the card stock. You don't want something that's completely opaque. Oh, dude, yeah. So go ahead and cut yourself out something in the shape of a sleep mask. We've got some rubber bands here to fasten them to our heads, staplers and tape and so forth. You need some extra padding to pad the corners out. You can actually use pieces of cotton uh, to line the insides. Dude, for the record, these are the sweetest sunglasses I've ever owned. I'm gonna take two of these, just tie them together, because I figure I could keep it loose. We're not gonna be moving, right? It's just Correct. the idea is that we stay still. How quickly should we start experiencing something? I have read anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes as the average. The trick is you have to stay quiet and stay still. No other flashing lights. You really want everything just kind of flat and quiet. So like if you experience something, don't go like, hey Brian, you'll not believe what, I, what I'm experiencing right now. Yeah, exactly. This isn't the Oculus Rift. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what I'm doing, just tying a little knot on there. Because again, it doesn't have to be super tight. Okay. But then that way the staples keep it from wanting to pull off. Oh, sure, yeah. Now, what about the white noise? I like television white noise myself, just the old sound of static from an old CRT, which you can find in YouTube or SoundCloud or anything like that. Of course, you're going to want something uninterrupted for the entire duration of when you're laying there. I am peeking out a little bit at the bottom, so I'm gonna just add a couple of pads to cover up on the edges of the nose. All right, I am set. Oh, that's actually really good. Perfect, I guess we dive in. I'll see you in 30 minutes. I guess it's also good to have noise-canceling headphones for this. Yes. 
on the other side, Brian. That's exactly what I was going to say. Damn it. <laughs> you beat me. All right, I'm calling it. Felt like a lifetime in there. Yeah. Um, How'd it go? It was intense. Um, I, I, I mean, I, I definitely. <laughs> it's, it's, it's. I can't believe it was only 20 minutes. Um, Jason, I'm changed. <laughs> I know, right? So the first thing you get are um, blooms of color, yes. right? So, so um, there is this brief period where at first you notice the imperfections of the paper mm -hmm. and all that stuff, but then at some point it was like a switch flipped and everything just looked completely uniformly white. Mm -hmm. And then you started to see blooms of color. It was like the room in the Matrix. Yeah. Where he said, we need more guns. And then the guns yeah. came. Yeah. Uh, you know how you can rub your eyes and see fireworks? Yes. Like that started to happen even though there was no stimulation yeah. at all. And then after a while, they would, they would start to move into shapes. I, I saw silhouettes of dinosaurs, like yeah. a puppet show basically. There was a brief moment that I was convinced that I was looking at a frosted window and I could see an office around me wow. in there. Yeah, it was fleeting, right? It was like the moment I thought too hard on it, yes. it would evaporate. You really have to give yourself up to it. With mine, what started as a simple screensaver experience turned into the eye of Sauron staring back okay, at me. Okay, do, do you know what I saw? I saw a face. Uh, do you remember the supreme being from Time Bandits? Yes. That's it, the return the map. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Mine started off with like lots of blossoms of colors and everything just kind of undulating and coalescing. And then they turned into like jellyfish type things. Yeah. And then the Eye of Sauron was there for a minute. And around that time, the sound, I started to hear screams. Okay, I heard laughter in the background. I could hear people applauding, like there's a party in the next room over or something. See, I heard screams in the multiple layers of the static, but then once you started to focus on it, it went away and it was just static again. But then after that, it became me flying through the clouds, looking down over this rocky desert planet, wavering everywhere. And I realized I was hearing seagulls. Wow. Yeah, it was. Fascinating, and it started happening right away. Well, it, it, I, I, that's the same thing for me. It was like maybe 90 seconds till the first tickles start to happen, and I think it's like you get caught up in a feedback loop where it's like you think like, did I did I hear laughter? And then you listen for laughter, and sure enough, yes. now you're seeking that pattern, and you absolutely experience yes. it. It was definitely enhanced because I tried to not move my body at all. They didn't want to be reminded that I'm sitting on a table or whatever, but instead, you you start to feel without form and without presence. That was a trip, man. Uh, dude, high five on the Gansfeld effect. Highly recommend it. Yeah, absolutely, dude. I'm going back in. <laughs> no, no, we've lost him. <laughs> I need more. I'm gonna get a beer. <laughs>